Welcome to On The Verge with Kara Bradley, weekly blasts of no-hype advice and essential practices to settle down, show up, and shift from crazy busy to high-definition, high-voltage living. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me once again for another quick episode of this On The Verge podcast, which many of you know I absolutely love doing. It is totally a hell yeah for me. In fact, the other day someone said, how do you come up with your topics? How do you come up with the ideas for each week? You know, I do this stuff weekly. In fact, this is number 40. This episode is number 40, which is so fantastic. You know, those things that you just love doing that aren't a chore, like this is not a chore for me to do every week. You know, you got to lean into that stuff. That's the stuff that's working in your life. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing the word. Thank you for telling your friends. And also, if you're inclined, thank you for writing a short review on iTunes or Google Play. It really helps in getting the word out. So, without without further ado, as Tim Ferriss, one of my favorite podcasters, likes to say, I'd like to talk to you this week about being stuck and the fact that you are not stuck. I had this conversation a few days ago in our inner circle, in this small group that we're forming, which you are welcome to join. Just email me at kara at karabradley.net. And we had our first phone call. I had a bunch of people on the call. And the topic that, cu- that kept coming up was being stuck, this sense of being stuck in situations, in patterns. And it was amazing because... It's not an area I often focus on. And I thought about it. Why don't I talk about being stuck very often? And the truth is, you are not stuck. You are not stuck. We think we're stuck. We get caught in these mental patterns where we feel like there is nowhere to move, where there is no way to change. And I just, my mind doesn't work that way. For better or for worse, which sometimes I think it's for worse, I always think I can change everything on a dime. So I looked up the definition of stuck. What does it mean to be stuck? Well, and what I came to from the Macmillan Dictionary is that being stuck means to be caught or held in a position so that you cannot move. I'm going to say that again. Caught or held in a position so that you cannot move. So honestly, I think about it. Caught and held, right? I think of being like trapped um, and and being trapped in a position where my, like a straitjacket, right? How many of us are in straitjackets, right? Not many. Thank goodness. We are not stuck. You are not stuck in a position where you cannot move. There is such subtle wiggle room in every single situation. And I believe that being empowered, becoming empowered, becoming more confident and fearless and bold in your life is being able to see these subtle this like subtle space, right? This very, um, in some ways, it, it, you can't even see it, unimaginable wiggle room where you can start to change the direction of what you feel stuck in. So being stuck in a lot of ways is really being caught in grooves, patterns, and these, these habitual these habits, these unconscious habits. And and I liken it to what we spoke about on our call the other night is is being caught in a spider web. So if you think about the brilliance, I mean think about a spider web. Oh my God. I mean how in the world is that thing spun overnight by this little skinny little seemingly nothing creature? It's it's incredible. You think about the spider web, and, and the spider continues to move round and round and round on the web. Well, if this spider got caught on one thread, 
and kept going around and around on one thread, over and over, laying down the same route, the same route, day after day. There wouldn't be this wide kind of matrix of a web, would there? There would be one line, one circle, which definitely couldn't hold up, um, or maybe it could, and those things are so darn strong. But what happens in our lives is that when we get caught in patterns, thinking patterns, emotional patterns, physical patterns, patterns in our relationship, patterns in the way we eat, the habits, our actions, the way we speak, everything, everything can become a pattern. But when we get caught in these patterns, you think about spinning this web and being on the same thread over and over again, this, this pattern, this thread becomes very thick, very strong. And in many ways, it could enclose us. We get enclosed in, in the patterns that, we're, that we continually, habitually create every, every day. And what happens when we get caught in these grooves or patterns is that we can't really see out of them. We get so entrenched in our behaviors that it's hard to see life uh, outside of them. So if you envision this thread or this groove or this... Um, oh, there's so many different words for it. I, I know it's often called a sutra which is a thread, we, can, we can't see what life is like outside of these patterns. And I believe that's where we feel stuck, when we feel that we're caught or held in a position, enclosed in a, in a pattern where we cannot move. Right? So that's just, if that helps you visualize what feeling stuck is like, the fact is, you're not stuck. You are not stuck. There are moments every single day when you experience yourself outside of your habitual patterns. I talk about it all the time. I write about it in On the Verge. It's really what the book is about. It's about glimpsing the sense of aliveness that exists beyond your busy mind. Busy mind is simply just, you know, it's, it's like a holding, it's a holding term for patterns, stuck behaviors, uh, incessant thinking and worrying and emotional fear and doubt. There are times every single day when you jump out of that thread, off of the pattern, and you experience life. In, in the present moment, in this brilliant aliveness. When you see the sun setting, when you hear birds, when you catch someone's eyes, you know, in the moment when you take a deep breath, when you lay your head on the pillow at night, these moments are happening all the time, these glimpses of aliveness, these glimpses of being fully awake, these high-definition moments. When insight, wisdom, clarity, compassion, creativity surge through your body and through your life. So you may feel stuck, but you're not stuck. So the first thing I would, I offer you is start to notice the glimpses, those moments throughout the day. And all you need to do is just smile. Ah. Yes, here's one of those moments when I'm not stuck. Here's one of those moments when I'm sensing everything around me, inside of me, what's arising, what's, what's, what's passing. Glimpsing yourself outside the box, right? Jumping patterns. Talked about it a few episodes ago. Jumping patterns. So that's the first thing you can do is just start to recognize your aliveness. Because when you're feeling fully alive, awake and alive, you're not stuck in a pattern. Number two is begin to make small shifts in your life. 
instead of thinking, I'm so stuck, I'm just going to be stuck in this pattern for the rest of my life, in this relationship, in this job, in this financial situation, in this body, right? Instead of just, you know, conceding to that, you're going to be in this situation for the rest of your life, start to make very, very, very small shifts. And I'm talking really small. You know, it could be as simple as not putting as much cream in your coffee. I mean, I'm talking that small. What small shifts can you make today that can start to wiggle you, right? If you think of being stuck in that tight spot, that can start to allow you to kind of wiggle your shoulders, your hips a little bit. Just small, small steps, If it's a work situation and you need to make a change, maybe it's that one small step, like making an update to your resume or looking on a job, a job site, right? Little, little steps every day. Start small, stay steady, build from there. It's how it happens. So first, glimpse. Notice you're not stuck because if you're glimpsing aliveness, That means you're not stuck. You're not enclosed in a pattern. Two, make small, small changes every single day. I think a few weeks ago I talked about doing three things really, really well or making one small change. There's a whole slew of those episodes when I was kind of on that rant. Lastly, and this is a biggie, recognize impermanence. There is nothing, nothing that stays steady. Besides our infinite intelligence, God, right, creation, this this consciousness, this awake consciousness, but, but that's for another episode. For today, recognize that everything comes and goes, including us. Everything, every pattern, every habit, every relationship, every situation, everything will come to pass. So being stuck doesn't exist. It literally does not exist. We can think we're stuck, but you are not stuck in anything. So noticing impermanence every day as leaves fall, as the sun sets, as the clouds move by your mind's eye, your, your, your vision, everything is coming and going. And even the most stuck situations are in the process of dissolving. How about that? There is emerging and there is dissolving in every single moment. And when we can start to surf that wave and recognize that you are always surfing the wave, that the water is never completely still, you can start to trust that your life continues to evolve. So you are not stuck. I am not stuck in anything, in your house, in your body, in your relationships, in your work life, in the smallest, smallest details. This is how we start to break free from being stuck and, and enclosed in, these, in, these, in this web. So I leave you with that. There's a lot in that to play with. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what's coming up. Remember, there's a little bit of wiggle room. You can always shake your hips a little bit and smile to know, to remind yourself, you are not stuck. Have a fantastic day, everybody. If you're feeling fired up from this episode, please share it with a friend and review this podcast on iTunes and Google Play. And help me help more folks show up for their high-definition, high-voltage life.